I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will find the indefinite integral using standard formulas which are always given in the table in your book. They have been derived from antiderivatives. So the one which we are using here is kind of power function, right? So let's apply this formula. Integral of x to the power of n dx is x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c but n cannot be minus 1, right? Okay, so here are two examples. You can always pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. The first one is, you need to find integral of x squared plus 2x minus 1 divided by square root of x dx. Now, and we do not have quotient rules here, right? So what you do here is that you expand and simplify. So that is the strategy. So you could write this as x square over square root x, right? And it's always better to write them as, as uh, rational powers, right? So you could write this as, for example, 2x over x to the power of half if you want to, right? Minus, you could also write this as x to the power of minus half, right? So I'm just writing in different ways. And then this is d of x, right? So normally you put a bracket around this so dx is applicable to all now we apply the property of integrals that is sum and difference is sum and difference of their integrals right okay so you could simplify this when you say x squared over x to the power of half you could write this as x to the power of 2 minus half right let me write 2 minus half first and then we'll simplify this plus 2 x to the power of 1 minus half, right? And x to the power of minus half d of x for the whole thing, right? Okay. So, so basically, you have to simplify it, right? Now, so that you get x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 2 times x to the power of half minus x to the power of minus half d of x. Now you can apply the formula. So 3 by 2 plus 1, right? So you get x to the power of plus 1 will give you 5 by 2, right? Divided by 5 by 2 plus 2 times. So that's the property of integrals. So constant gets multiplied by just as you have in derivatives, right? So x to the power of half plus 1, 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 minus x to the power of minus 1 plus 1 so x to the power of half divided by half correct so that is the result which you can simplify and then write down the final final answer right so so we could write this as let me okay let me continue on this side <coughs> so 5 over 2 so you have x to the power of 5 over 2 Plus, when you multiply this, it becomes 4 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2. And then when you do this, you get minus 2, square root x or x to the power of half, either way. So that becomes your solution, right? So that is how you need to do it. Now let's see the other one. It's basically a practice question for you. You can pause the video, find the integral of the given function. Now here is the solution. We could write this as x to the power of half. It's always good practice, right? So write them as rational powers, exponents. x to the power of 1 over 3 plus, now here it is in the denominator, half plus 1, that is 3 by 2, right? So that means x to the power of minus 3 by 2, since it is in the denominator. So I'm cutting down on some of the steps which we did earlier, right? I know you can do them very easily. And now we'll apply the formula directly. So we get x to the power of half plus 1, which is 3 by 2 over 3 by 2, minus x to the power of 4 over 3 over 4 over 3. And we'll do, we'll eliminate plus here first. x to the power of, when you add 1, you get minus half over minus half, right? And then we can, as we did last time, We'll just rewrite this. 
let me use a different thing so we get 2 over 3 so <laughs> if you want you can write it in this form also so so we have square root of x cube right and this one is minus 4 over 3 and this one is fourth power right so which fourth power means it is 3 so 1x comes outside cube root is it okay right you can simplify this and in this case we have minus 2 right and that comes in the denominator 1 over square root x is it okay so that is how you could write down your answer for the same so that is the solution for the first one i hope the steps are clear the idea is whenever you have a function like this we do not have product and quotient rules for integrals write them in simplified form with rational exponents apply the formula and at the end simplify and write down your result i hope that helps thank you and all the best.